One night, soon after Samuel lay down to sleep, the Lord called to him, Samuel, Samuel. Not understanding that God was speaking to him, Samuel hurried to Eli. Here I am. You called me? No, I didn't call you, my son. Go lie down again. Once more, Samuel heard the voice calling him. Again, he got up and went to Eli. But the priest, thinking that the boy merely had a dream, sent him back to bed a second time. Samuel. And when you are called again, say, speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Samuel. Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we are all always in need of good advice or direction to lead a good life or to go on right way. To lead us and to tell us what is right and wrong, time and again we need the people who show and teach us the right way. We learn this to the readings of the day. God calls Samuel three times, but Samuel do not know who is calling him. That is why Samuel goes to Eli three times. Eli says, I am not the one who wants something from you, but God. Eli tells Samuel about God. In the Gospel passage, Two young people stood with John the Baptist, but he tells and shows them and points out to the young man to follow Jesus Christ. The two young men do not know anything about Jesus Christ, but they listen and follow the advice and guidance of the John the Baptist. Dear brothers and sisters, again and again, we need the people who give us instructions, who tell us what is important and what is right and what is not right. Who are these people for us? At all times, it is first of all the parents who show the children the way to faith. And the teachers and good friends who follow a part of our path and show it to the father and future. I'm sure most of us have come to believe in similar way. Some people, some of us have probably refused to attend the services here and there. But because the parents who live their faith ultimately and convincingly and remain faithful to God, the children learn faith from their parents. No one develops without the guidance and instructions 
of other people and who promote his affection. We should always be grateful for such people and for their instructions. And each one of us is also have the responsibility to show the way for others through our lives and through our faith. That is why we all need to pray for ourselves and to our dear brothers and sisters and follow the teaching and the instructions of the gospel. May God bless you all and guide you and show you all the right path and right way. Amen.